Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about JavaScript Proto and the prototype, the extended version from the previous video. And uh, we will just take a look on to different examples and try to understand how the inheritance works with the Proto and prototype. Okay. So we are going to talk about the simple example, this custom code logic which we have written. Okay. I have this V8 console. I will use this to run the example and show the real execution. Okay. So you can see I created object A which is having X property and calculate. Okay. Then I have object B. Object B has the Y property and I manually override the proto of object B which is pointing to A. Similarly object C I have created and the proto of object C is pointing to A. I mean I just tried to do it manually and we are able to get the output right so how is this happening if you just try to just console.log b if you try to print b what it is having it is having y20 and if you see the proto inside proto we have this calculate and x function right now if you just do b underscore underscore proto right it is having this property and when you do further proto then it will point to the proto of capital O object it is talking about this object which is a function right here if you see the prototype of this is the same prototype of this is same as the proto of any other object like uh, if I talk about simple object okay I created this object then x1 dot underscore underscore proto proto of any object which is created using this object literal will be same as the constructor of object here if I see prototype you can even compare this object dot prototype equal equal to you can see x1 underscore underscore proto why this is happening if you see x1 dot underscore underscore proto where it is pointing if I just try to print x1 then you will understand it so if you see look at the proto this proto constructor of the proto is pointing to the constructor function of object I mean every object is created using capital O object function only I mean we are doing a we are creating object something like this but indirectly it is nothing but we are doing new capital O object and you already know capital O object is a function and we are creating object out of it so this object is allowing us to create objects in different way either you can use empty curly braces right or you can do object dot create you can pass null or you can pass the existing object right this is also a way to create an object or you can pass the existing object like I already have x1 so I will do uh, let x2 equal to object dot create x1 so in that case if you just try to print x2 x2 proto will point to x1 you can see this will this is pointing to x1 and then further it is pointing to the capital O object x1 is also empty let's put some values let's say k1 k1 is having a uh, 60 and now we are creating k2 from k1 and now if I try to print k2 contains k2 doesn't have its own property right it is extending everything so it is having in the proto and this proto is pointing to capital O object right so coming back to the previous example here we are overriding the proto but whenever we are doing object dot create uh, then it is same as you are actually extending the prototype of the previous object if I clear this out object dot create we need to define a object also so this is my a object we can just copy it this is my a object okay and I'm creating the object B and C out of it so you can see now if you see the definition of B B has Y20 because 
this is the property with b which b already having so the object dot create how it works is object dot create you pass the existing object which you are extending and the own own property his own property of object b okay now if you go to the proto inside proto you will see the calculator next so when you do b dot what all properties are available calculate because calculate is available in the proto of this object so now if we try to see this diagram uh, here this is a object he is having x and calculate right so if you try to talk about the proto of this a object it will point to the object dot prototype this i am saying since the beginning so a dot underscore underscore proto it is pointing to object dot prototype right both are same a dot underscore underscore proto capital object dot prototype right this is pointing to the object dot prototype and object dot prototype if you go further uh, the proto of object dot prototype will point to null because this is now you have reached to the end of the prototype chain it will come, come as a null and from this object a you have you have created b and c so so the proto of b and proto of c will point to the object a this we are doing so b dot proto is pointing to the uh, object a you can say if you just do a c underscore underscore proto also it will point to the same object a right now if you try to extend this example a little further then we will get some picture something like this okay so we will create an object out of this foo function okay so the prototype of the foo function is pointing to the foo dot prototype so if you just try to extend it a little further with this example we have function foo let me see what we have so we have function foo whose proto is pointing to the function dot prototype this is a capital F function always remember every function every functions proto will point to the function dot prototype and a function prototype will point to the constructor function if we just see this this foo right now if I do console dot dir to get the definition of this foo function so you can see the proto of this function is pointing to the capital F function right the proto and prototype is just a simple constructor function the function itself and the proto is pointing to the capital F function okay now what happens when we are creating the object of this function like uh, or x equal to new foo okay here we are creating the object of the foo function and when we see what it will create it will give us the object right so this object proto the proto of this object will point to the prototype of this function you can see constructor so proto of this object will point to the constructor of this function okay if you see x dot underscore underscore proto it is same as the prototype of the foo foo dot prototype constructor function so if we just try to compare it this comes as a true right so here we created a foo function and from the foo prototype we are creating two different objects b and c right the proto of b and c is pointing to the foo dot prototype so like this is a foo function earlier we had the object itself now we have the function so our function look like this function foo okay now we are creating the object out of it right so here I'm seeing var b equal to new foo and var c I'm using var keyword that's why so that I can reuse these variable names otherwise I will get an errors okay now if you do b dot proto it is pointing to the prototype of foo if you just see because here this is the foo function and the foo dot prototype right so the proto of this b and c is pointing to the prototype 
of the foo function is the same. Now, if I just see foo dot prototype, right? It is same. So either you do c dot underscore underscore proto. Both the objects proto is pointing to the prototype of this function. So if I just do console dot dir, which we have already done, if you try to inspect it, then the prototype is actually constructor function, right? So all the objects are pointing to this. This diagram is depicting the same thing. Now, if you again try to do the proto of this foo dot prototype, okay? Let's do that. So we have foo dot, sorry, prototype. It is pointing to the constructor function if you try to do proto. It will point to the object prototype. So if you see object dot prototype, you can actually compare these foo dot prototype of proto. Both comes out right true. So this picture, we created a function. We created a objects of that function using constructor key, new using new keyword B and C. B and C proto will point to the prototype of that function, and the proto of that prototype will points to the object dot prototype. This this looks weird, but this is what code JavaScript is. This is how we are creating the prototype. This is how we are, how every function every functions proto will point to the capital F functions prototype. And this is how every object's proto will point to the prototype of the function whose which they have been created. Either you create a new object using object.create using empty curly braces. In that case also, the proto of the objects points to the constructor, constructor of the capital O object prototype. You might be thinking like, okay, here I'm creating a function, but either you just do something like this. In that case also, x dot proto. Where it is pointing to, it is pointing to the prototype of the capital O object function. This capital O object prototype. This is same, right? Because we are not extending any other object. We are creating the object directly. This is how it is working. Now, if you go further, prototype and try to access the proto, because this is come out as a, this will come as a null because now we are at the end of the prototype chain, right? Every function whatever the function you create, their proto will point to the capital F function prototype. You see? Okay, so this is interesting. So you might have not used this capital F function. Right, what it is? It is a function. If you try to do console.dir, can I get the definition? Yes. So here you can see the proto of this function is pointing to the constructor of the function and this proto is pointing to the capital O object. So this diagram, the function dot prototype, capital F function dot prototype, the proto of that will point to the object prototype. Little bit, uh, I mean, tricky, but if I try to do function. So first of all, what all, what all things are available in the function prototype? Have a capital F function prototype. These all these functions are available on any function because every function will will be created using this capital F function prototype. Okay, and all the properties like call, apply, bind, length, name, to string, all these properties are extended by every function you create in JavaScript. Like uh, here, I'm creating function hello. Right, so. If I just talk about hello dot here, you can see call apply bind to string. All these methods are coming from this capital F function prototype. Right now, if I just talk about underscore underscore proto of this, where it is pointing, it is pointing to the capital O object prototype. Okay, so this is the role of capital F functions and capital O object. Both are functions. We are so in JavaScript indirectly everything is a function we are just end up creating the objects out of it either you just use capital x empty curly braces so x dot proto is actually pointing to the object prototype 
and you keep doing this chain until unless the capital O object proto becomes null. Okay, so this diagram is little important. Every function prototypes proto will point to the object dot prototype. There are two things which you need to understand capital O object and capital F function. Okay, we, have, we always create an object directly either using empty curly braces using object dot create by extending the another object or by writing the new keyword for the function. So you created a function hello, then you can create an object using new hello, right? What is happening in that case, whatever the object you are creating, the proto of those objects will point to the prototype of the function from which those object has been created. Okay. Uh, I mean, there are enough resources available to understand all these things in depth, but this is what code JavaScript is. Okay. Thanks everyone. So I'm done with the proto and prototype. Maybe we'll talk about a new topic in the next video. Thanks everyone.